What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FN22 series where we look at Youngtown on Football Manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers, both players that I pick and I'm curious about or find um, players that you give me in the comment section on Discord as well. If before we go any further, don't forget to hit the like button, it really does help the channel out and subscribe as well. These are daily videos that um, when, I, when I have players to look at, the daily. Obviously, well, if I can't find a player, then obviously they won't be. Um, but if you've got a player you want to look, if you think I should look at, in the comment section down below, leave his name and as much info as you can on him so I can easily track him down. Or on Discord, if you're in there, you can put it in there if you want to tag me in that as well. But I would say check the playlist out and also check out the schedule as well, the schedule for the series down below of what reviews are coming up and players and that kind of thing. So you don't make a request that's been done or about to be done already. Also down below, the TV channel and my Let's channels as well. Go check those out. Out. So today we're looking at looking at Un Unai Bensador. I'm I'm going with that. I'm going with that. A Spanish midfielder from uh, Athletic Club. Um, straight away you can see the first touch marking, passing, tackling technique are very good. So straight away I'm thinking it could be a it could be a uh, playmaker or a tackler. You know, bowling midfielder. No player traits. Good pace, good acceleration, good stamina. Um, he's five foot nine. Good work rate. Great determination. Sixteen, I would say, sixteen or above. I really like seeing that determination in a player. He's got a maximum potential rating of one hundred sixty-four, which is locked. Um, so you will get that, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So already, United World Sky put already on him already. So he's got two and a half star current ability, three, maybe four star ability potential very consistent great strength and stamina which is what, we, what we're seeing good determined attitude and can play in a couple of positions and will be just enjoying Manchester United now of course he has got a 45 million pound release clause in his contract that's just the way obviously Spanish football works um, so what's his weak foot looking like so he's got a very strong right foot and reasonable left foot. He can play in two positions um, and can be feel. I think if you're playing him in this position, you go more attack, tackling, tackling. Well, no, actually, with well, of formation you play, I suppose. Um, but it can play a bot. It can play a, a creative role, or it can be a like we said. Also in this, it also be a ball winning midfielder as well. Um, now the only downside is though is he's he's, he's, he's going to cost you a lot of money because he's forty five million pound release clause in there. I'm assuming that will go up at some point if they don't if they don't if no one comes in for it. So first jump, let's see how he gets on the first few years. All right then, twenty four and look at this great first touch marking, to passing, tackling, still the same technique. Mentals have gone up massively. Dissipation. Decisions, determination, still the same. Positioning and work rate. Physically, it looks very good. Very well rounded. Um, not the most opponent. That's fine with the stamina and pace and strength that he has. Natural fitness. Looks like a really good workhorse midfielder. If not a great midfielder as well, because he's got the vision as well to you know play those passes along, you know, and get be creative. So injury record. I don't anticipate this being a problem, which it isn't. It's not a problem at all. And now I'm assuming we're not going to see many goals and assists for him at this club. So let's have a look. I mean, six goals, six assists, one and four, four and five, four and six. That's reasonable for a guy who's probably going to play a deep line playmaker role. I don't think he's got the, he's not a goal scoring midfielder, but he can knock in a goal here now and then. Um, I think you look, I love that straight on him. With that strength and that pace. Um, dribbling's not terrible, um, but again, he's the midfielder. Not say something we look for in a midfielder, but you can move. It's very adaptable. The downside is, is the money that he cost is 45 million. Now, has he got a new risk clause? That's what I thought would happen. That okay. Optional extension by the club for three years. That's that's a massive uh, extension. Obviously, they will obviously potentially do that in your sales, but with the lease clause being higher, so it could be something that if you've got a lot of money to spend. Maybe you're getting quicker. Uh, obviously, don't know when they put that new contract in. Um, when they will when they sign this, it's starting in 2023. So I'm assuming that would be when the clause came in. Then um, I would imagine. I look at the wages on Jesus. Um, but really good player. Really like him. I think he's a good combination of a playmaker and a ball winner as well. I think it's one of those players you can bring to your team and then say, right, which role do I want to play him in? You know what I mean? You, you don't have to just buy him for one position or one kind of job. You can say, well, actually, you know what? I can't get my um, ideal ball and win midfielder. 
I'll go with this guy. Um, you know what I mean? That's the kind of feel that he is. Let's continue. All right, folks, still at Athletic Club, and he's still got the same relatively same stats we had earlier. Um, nothing really changed, really. He's 20 years old, that's the only thing that's really changed. I don't think injuries are going to be a problem. We're not injured, not injured point at all. Um, career stats, so let's have a look, see if you've got the figures or anything in this season. Four and five, four and six, four and six, four and six, seven and 15. 15 assists that season, and then ticks the nine. So he gets double figures. Oh, sorry, gone off the um, screen. He does get double figure goal contributions per season. Obviously, one of those got 20 overall with the 15 assists in that, in that one season. So, yeah, he definitely leans into what I'm saying. I, I think I lean a bit more towards the creative side of him, but the marking, tackling, anticipation, decision making. You know what I mean? You can still play him in that, in that ball when him midfield the role. I don't think it'd be a problem. What's that least clause got up to? 160, yeah. So they do put obviously high release clauses in there. Um, so it could be definitely a guy you got to get early on. Um, but obviously, I don't think anyone's going to pay that release clause for him. I've never actually tried actually going for a player with that high release clause and trying to get him cheaper than that. I've not tried like the long term, like scouting him and settling him and trying to you know work on the deal a lot. Uh, I may try to may try and do that in my say let see if I can, if it's impossible to pull that off. So yeah, let's continue one more jump. I want to see if he gets double figures for goals at any point. Well, he stayed at the club all his career, well, all his review anyway, and the stats are staying relatively stable, even if he's 32 years old, so physically he stays pretty good, at a good, at a good level. So let's look and see if he got double figures for anything. 15 assists that season we saw, 6 and 9, 8 and 12, 3 and 9, 4 and 14, 3 and 7. Definitely a creative player. Definitely more creative player than a um, goal scorer, and you can maybe a push make him a like I said, make him a defensive ball winning midfielder as well. Injury wise, it's not injury prone. The only the plus side to him, multifunctional in both position and also um, role. Downside to him, the fee is big at the start of the year. It's forty five million to get him out there but then again maybe that's actually positive positive for you because you just pay that money and you know you get him and also he's locked onto that potential rating of 165 i think it was yeah 165 it was originally at the start so you're not going to you're getting a player here who know how he's going to develop all being well of course if he says different but most likely he will develop quite well for you so let me know, guys, if you're going to sign this guy. Let me know if you've got any player you want to look at in the, in the comments section. Or if you're in Discord, tag me, tag me in that as well. Leave as much info as you can and check the playlist and the schedule. Don't forget to check out the FM FIFA channel down below and Let's Play channel as well. So if you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you have, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well, and I'll catch you all in this video. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.